This is Franklin from IamDream.net and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to add style to your pages and posts with WP Easy Page Styles plugin. So first this is just a test post that I have here on my blog and this is what it looks like right now. There's absolutely no content there. So let's go ahead and add some stuff. So the first thing we're going to show is um, okay and text okay so I just add that in there so the first thing we're going to do is that we have Google custom fonts and that's over 650 fonts that you can choose to put on your pages and posts if you want to so you can activate each pay each font per page per post here I already have a couple that I chose and I activated them on this on this post and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the text and I go to the web fonts dialog box and it comes up I can choose which font that I, I already activated on this site so say I want to do this here in 36 pixels and I could choose a style here and I'm just going to insert and you see it inserts it right there this is a what you see is what you get now if you want to change just a regular text and you don't want to use a Google font you can also open the, the fonts dialog here and you can also set the size and you can choose any of these um, these styles that you want you can either apply these styles to a Google font or you can apply them just to the regular font here and as you can see we added that in there okay and uh, let me go through a couple more things first uh, just to show you so that's basically the Google fonts it's that easy to change everything and as you can see is what you see is what you get what you see in the editor here is exactly what you're going to see on the screen when we go over there but let's go into a couple more things here so let's try to add a column so we have seven different column styles to add so when we add it we just click and it adds it right in there and we can add add any text here right and uh, more text in that column and also we can add um, whatever other styles we want to add we can add in the column here uh, we can add uh, let me see what do I have here um, okay dummy text let me just add some dummy text okay so I add some dummy text in there and that's going to be in that column there and I can also add columns within columns or any of these other styles I can add within the within the column here so say I want to add this here you see I can add that there and these columns are mobile responsive so they're gonna stack vertically on the smaller devices and it keeps your content looking good okay so let's just update this and then we'll go over to the post over here and we'll give it a second to update and uh, then we will refresh this page and see what it looks like so we, ref we refresh this page and now let's see what it looks like okay so as you can see it's uh, what you see is what you get here's our headline with the Google font right there here's the text that we formatted uh, especially for that and then we have our columns here we have our two columns left and right column with our text in there and we also have our one-third column here and two-thirds column here this is the column within the column so let's go back and add some more page styles to this so uh, say we're in here and we'll just add some stuff inside the column here so the next thing we want to do is want to add a box so there's actually a bunch of colors we can choose from and there's two different border styles and we can choose the color and we can choose the box width say we want to add the box width is um, say uh, 50 percent and you'll see what happens there when I add it there it's 50 percent of the width of that column because I added it inside the column right if I add uh, the box out here then um, then it will be the, the, the width of the page there so let's add this to 75, right? 75%. And you see 75%. And if I update, and then we go back here and we update this, you'll see that also the changes took place here. So let's just update that and see what happens. Okay, so it's updated. And as you can see, uh, the, the boxes are in there. This is 75% of the width of the, of the space here. And this is 50% width of the column. And that's basically how it works there, okay? So also, if you wanted to add a box to, uh, you have the text already formatted, you want to add this, this, uh, this text into the box, right? You would highlight it. You just click over here and the boxes dialog comes up and say we want to do 75% and we insert that. See the box is just inserted right there just like that, okay? We can also have styles within styles. So say within that we want to put some bullets. So let's add some bullets in here. So first we got to add the text, right? So let's add text one text 2, text 3, right? So we highlight the, the bullets, we come over here, we click on the bullets dialog, 
and we're presented with a bunch of choices here. We have regular size bullets and we have larger bullets. So for let's go see what the regular size bullets look like. And again, it's what you see is what you get, exactly what you get in there. So let's try that again. Uh, actually, let's go up here and let's put some, some bullets in here. Bullet one, bullet two, bullet three, okay. So let's add this and let's make these a larger size one. And you see how easy it is to make those bullets. We come over here, we go into the bullets dialog. And of course, we're going to make this a bigger one. So we make that bigger here. And again, we can make that bold as well, just like that. Okay. So say now we want to add another style. Right. So let's go add a button. Now, buttons, we have a bunch of different size buttons. Okay. We, these are all the colors of the buttons. We have normal, larger, extra large, extra large, round, and small buttons. And as you, as you click it, you can choose what the, here. And say we want to do HTTP. You can choose any URL that you want here. We'll just have this one go to google.com and you can choose whatever button text that you want as well so text here right and we click insert and it inserts the button there and then you can move it around in the editor here you can also click here and um, right delete the button if you want to or you can change the text or you can add it just like this say buy here and we come in here we click buttons it opens up the button dialog for us and say we want to have this as a pink button we want it extra large and we want the URL HTTP I'm gonna go to Google or whatever you said whatever whatever link it here that's right there and we can click in here and we can change right now click here and again as you can see it's what you see is what you get right and uh, different sizes, there's a whole bunch of different sizes from large to small and extra large with rounded buttons. And um, all right, let's go try the next style. It's really that easy to add all the styles in here, dividers. Okay, we can add a divider to the page or the post very easily. We have 12 different uh, colors to choose from. I choose a dark blue and we d decide what's the width. Say I wanna do 65% uh, width and we insert that in there and we have a nice looking divider. It's really that easy. Okay, so um, let's go in here. Next one is the pull quotes and the drop caps. So let me add some text in here. Okay, so add the dummy text. Okay, so right there. And what I want to do is I want to add a pull quote. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the quote in here, whatever it is. This is my, my pull quote, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this. Let me get the, the period too. I'm going to highlight this. And I open up the pull quotes dialog. And basically we want alignment right or left. We want uh, maybe alignment right. We want size normal, larger or smaller. Let's make it larger and we want to set the width at 33%. So we insert that in there. And this is the pull quote right in there just like that. Okay, we can do the same thing for the drop caps. We highlight and we come in here and we click drop caps and uh, we can choose the font size, the line height and also the color let's make that a red and we insert that in there and again it's what you see is what you get in there and uh, the last style that we have in here that we can add is um, icons. So we go to our icon uh, button here it opens it up and we can choose font awesome icons And it will refresh and we can choose from any of these icons in here we can choose this set of icons type icons okay we can choose any of these if we want to we can choose these and these we actually can open up all of them all together okay so these are all the icons that you can choose from okay a lot of icons to choose from and you can set the size of your icon to anything you want. Say we want a 56 pixel icon and let's set the color as a dark blue and we'll just let me just choose a random a random icon here right um, which one we're going to choose? Let's just choose uh, this one okay and it will add it in there okay oh it doesn't seem to have added in the, the correct size but uh, let's go back in there
Okay, let me see. Uh, okay, 56. Go in here. I forgot which icon I chose. Let me just choose a, a different one there. Okay, let's see this one. Okay, so there's your icon there. Okay, and again, you can add the icons into into columns, into whatever you want. So you want to add a column. I want to do this, you know how everybody has that kind of style that they do. Uh, so let's go in there, let's let's uh, put that in there. Okay. So real quick, you know how people usually do the bullet points for the for the for the sales pages and stuff like that. Let's just add a quick quick thing in there. And we're gonna do point one and then this is this is your paragraph text underneath there, right? So let's add, add in here, hold on. Add in here, let's just put that in the center. Put that in the center, let's add another icon. Wait for a moment, let's pick the same size and we'll pick the same, same color, right? And we'll pick a different icon, we'll pick the cloud, right? And then we we'll put point two so it's very easy just to add these kind of lists that you see on sales pages and stuff like that and uh, let's just add the third one there okay so we just click in here and uh, let's add uh, oh we're gonna put the size first 46 and let's make it a orange color just to shake things up a bit right and let's just add uh, the Mia face, okay, so point three, right? So it's really that easy. And as you can see, it's, it's, it's what you see is what you get here. And uh, what will happen is uh, when I update this, just update. So you're really unlimited. You can have styles within the styles. You can have columns. You can combine everything together if you want. And that's being updated. And let's go back here and let's update this, uh, this page here. As you can see, the test post here is being updated. As you can see, we have our Google Fonts headline. We have our text that we did with the style. We have our icons here. We have point one, two, and three with the icons. We have our bullets here. Um, I got to get rid of the CSS, um, uh, change a little bit of CSS on the main file here for the theme that I'm using. It already has some image uh, images for the bullets there, but that's easy to correct. All right? The button is here. Goes to Google. Right, if you remember. Oh, I didn't put the entire URL in there, I just put Google without the Google.com. Okay, here we have the drop caps, the complete one. We could have just done one letter if you want. This is a pull quote. Uh, here we have our boxes. Um, basically everything's in there. Okay. So it's that easy to add styles to your pages and posts. And you're basically not limited by anything that you want to do. You can just do whatever you want there because you have nine different styles. You have your web fonts with your style in there. You have uh, columns, boxes, bullets, buttons, dividers, pull quotes, drop caps, and icons that you can add. So um, if you get this plugin today, and again, you get two bonus plugins as well. And um, uh, the first bonus plugin is going to create these uh, counters, uh, these these um, these uh, social share buttons on the top and the bottoms of all your pages and posts. This is a plugin uh, WP Easy Social Plus. We can disable it per page or per post, so it doesn't have to be there. And if we go over to our settings, uh, let me see Social Plus. Here we go. Just wait for this to load up. We can choose um, four different button styles. We can choose the top or the bottom or both, top and bottom, and we can put in our Twitter username, and we can also easily add in the G Plus author URL here so that you can claim authorship on your blog very easily. You just click Save Changes. And this plugin actually does one more thing. It adds a pin it button to all the images on your page or, or on your blog. Every single image is going to have a pin it button. So it's that easy to change it. You get the social share buttons with the counters already set up, um, basically within less than a minute you can have great looking pages and posts here and you notice it changed here and if I go to share this it brings up the dialogue and I can share this um, if I wanted to the same with Twitter your Twitter username is going to be in there 
right there, right? So you get the little at there for more social traction. And uh, let me see, I didn't add a picture yet to the post. We're going to do that next with the second plugin. But if you see here, here's a picture on the blog, and there's a pin it button that the plugin added. So we could add that in there too, okay? So the second, the second, um, uh, let me go to edit this post. The second bonus plugin is um, Easy Viral Social, uh, uh, social Images. And what this does is it allows you to uh, basically uh, these viral social images that people have. Uh, we just click on the button here and basically we could choose uh, what's our default or four defaults or we can upload an image to use as default or we can upload a new image to override the default image per whatever one we're going to create. So just use the default image and this is our quote. Whatever our quote is that we want to share is funny and you want to share this, right? So we can choose the font that we want to use to overlay on the picture. So let's choose this one. Uh, uh, again, you can set the defaults and then you can set one each one individually. Say so I want to change this to 36 and I want to change this to a red color, but a dark red, okay? And line break, we set the line break. We set the text align, align top, middle, or bottom. We're going to align in the middle. We can also choose the branding that we want. And let's up that to 14 pixels. Again, you can all set this in the default. You can set this in the default, but you can do it individually here. And then you can set the branding. I like it to the right, so let's do that. We click create the image. All right, this is going to refresh. Oh, hold on. It's going to refresh, and there's our quote right there. And all we have to do is insert it into the editor. And here we have our viral, easy viral social image right there. So let's update that. And basically, uh, while that's updating, let's go to the view the post. Uh, hold on a moment here as it refreshes. And let's view the post. And as this is loading, let me just remind you. So when you purchase today, you get Easy Page Styles plugin, which allows you to do the the nine separate things that you can do there. So the, here's here's the the second bonus plugin gives you these nice nice images here that you can share that people are going to want to share. And um, so again, uh, with the purchase today, you get the Easy Page Styles plugin, which gives you Google Fonts, columns, icons, drop quotes, bullets, buttons, dividers. Um, I missed probably one or two boxes. I probably missed one or two there. There's nine different styles that you get. You also get the Easy Social Plus plugin, which gives you these social share buttons, top and bottom. Pin it buttons on any image of your post, right? Any all your images and G uh, G Plus authorship on your URL very easily. And you get the Easy Viral uh, Social Image plugin which lets you create these great looking images again you can choose whatever default image you want you can upload the image that you want to use you got your branding your branding down here so people know where it came from and you got your quote here you could choose the color you can choose the font style all sorts of stuff very customizable so with these three plugins you really have have the ability to create great looking content uh, get your content out there get, you, get it shared have the social proof with the counters on the buttons um, Basically, you know, you have everything that you need with these three plugins. So uh, we probably went a little bit long on this uh, video, but just so that you uh, got an idea of what all this can do and exactly how easy it is. Okay, and remember, it's exactly what you see is what you get. In that, what you see in the in the post is exactly what you see in the editor. It's really that easy. You see here, this is exactly what you see, and that's exactly what you saw on the front end of the post too. So it makes it really easy to style your pages and your posts because you're not dealing with short codes you can see exactly what everything looks like and you know when you go over to the live post it basically looks exactly the same of course there might be a couple things you need to tweak because of the width or something like that is a little bit different from the post editor but as you can see it's uh, extremely easy extremely fast spend a lot of time talking but if you already have like a blog post out there and you just want to we just want to put some styles in there you want to add a couple things or you're creating your post makes it super easy to add these styles in here and it does everything from within the editor which I don't want to emphasize enough if you've tried other other post editor uh, plugins like I have 
uh, they're frustrating. Okay, sometimes you got to open up different, uh, the whole different editors, and then there's a bunch of multiple, multiple little boxes. You have to go into each one to click edit to change the text. Here you see everything within the editor, exactly how you're going to see it on the screen of your blog, how the visitor is going to see it. And you, all you got to do is just open your dialogs here to add anything that you want, and it's really that easy. There's no short codes. You don't have to visualize anything. Everything is right there for you. It's really point and click, simple. And you know, right here, this is just a jumble mess of everything that I added here. But you know, if you're adding a blog post, you might not want to add so much style. You just want to put a couple things in there to catch your vis uh, visitor's eye. You can make it look very elegant, very nice. Uh, really, whatever, whatever you want to do with it. You want to create a sales page. You could do that with that uh, blog post. Whatever you want to do, you can make it super, super stylish super super easy uh, and plus we got the two bonus plugins so don't miss out